Hey guys, it's Jeff with iDownload Blog. I'm going to show you how to install Siri Proxy plugins. Now that you already know how to install Siri Proxy, now we're going to talk about plugins. And as you can see, there's a whole list of plugins that you can install here. You have Plex, you have Spotify, you have IMDb, you have Twitter, everything you can probably think of. iTunes, Mac Control. There's lots of different plugins. There's ones that start your car, etc., etc. Uh, some of them are more complex than others, but we're going to talk about one that's pretty easy to install here today, and that is the IMDB plugin. It allows you to query the IMDB website and all of its data that it's stored on IMDB and ask things like, well, you can see right here, should I see a certain movie? When was this movie released, et cetera, et cetera. You see all the different commands that you can ask Siri, and it'll tell you, even tell you the show's rating, when it was released, who starred in the various shows or tele or movies. It's just really neat to be able to do this. And it's really simple to install this. All you need to do is open up the config-info.yml file here. And you can see this is all you need to copy in to the configuration of the Siri proxy to get it working. It's not much at all. And I'm going to show you how you can do this and easily get Siri proxy plugins installed on your Siri proxy installation. Okay. Let's head over to our Ubuntu virtual machine. We already set this up. You saw the last video regarding Siri Proxy. You know what to expect here. So what we want to do here is go to our home folder, and then we want to view and then show hidden files. If you haven't already done this, you can do that. You should see the dot Siri Proxy folder. That is the hidden Siri Proxy folder that we need to open, and you should see this, config.yml. You need to open that. Just double-click on config.yml. That is the file that holds all the proxy plugins that you need to configure. Now let's just go ahead and show you what you can expect here. Let's maximize this just so you guys can see it a little bit better here. And here are all the different plugins. These are just, as you can see, most of them are commented out, but these are examples of how to set up your own plugins. It's really easy. All you do is paste that code or that plugin, the name and the git location, over into this particular file, and then you just update your Siri proxy and it'll add that plugin to allow you to execute various commands uh, from IMDB or whatever other plugins you you uh, decide to install. So I'm just going to copy this, just going to drag and copy, and then head over to our Ubuntu installation. And there we go. And we can just paste this in this config.yml file just like that. Make sure everything is lined up. If you ended up pasting it in and it looks like this, just make sure you. Uh, you space over to make sure all the lines are lined up just like this and make sure you got everything pasted in correctly. Uh, it, that's really all it really boils down to. It's super simple to do this. Just make sure your lines are lined up correctly, uh, like the example above, and then you should be good. Then save the file. Once the file is saved, you can go ahead and close out, and then we'll close out a gedit completely here. Just close out like this. Now we want to head over to our terminal. We're going to open our terminal and we're going to run a command to update Siri Proxy so that it can see this new plugin that we just installed in our configuration file here. So all you need to do is just paste the following command in. You'll find this command on iDownload blog or in the description of the video. It's bin slash Siri Proxy space update and then enter. And then you should see it pulling in all the new updates. You'll see it pull in the IMDB plugin as well. I'll show you that in just a second here. It's just going to run for a few seconds. It shouldn't take long at all. Just be patient. But it should. Your screen should look similar to this. And then eventually, you should get where it shows you the fetching the IMDB from GitHub. And you can see it right there. There it is. See that? So that shows that it did pull in the updates. Now all you need to do is just run the server again. Just turn on Siri Proxy Server, just like we did in the previous Siri Proxy installation, just like this. And let's give Siri a shot. Should I see Cloverfield? And you can see it running like that. You'll see the speech packets and everything. I'd recommend seeing Cloverfield. It got 7.3 stars. Pretty awesome, huh? It's really awesome that you can do this. Let me show you some other things here. When was the island released? And it literally can query the entire IMDB database. The island was released on July 22, 2005, USA. Should I see the island? I'd recommend seeing the island. It got 6.8 stars. Who was in the island? And sometimes it can take a little bit to give you a response, but it's pretty Louis quick. McGregor. 
Scarlett Johansson, and Jimin Hoonsu were in the island. So as you can see, that is really awesome, and really that's just the tip of the iceberg of all the different things. You'll see all the uh, speech packets go when you, you know, query uh, Siri, of course. Just like the last video where you uh, initially configured Siri proxy, it'll do the same thing here. It'll show you the packets, it'll show you the what it received, and it'll show you what it's going to send to your screen on your iPhone 4S. Uh, like I said, it's super easy to install. You saw the installation instructions. All you need to do is head over to iDownloadBlog. You'll find all the links and information there. I told you I'd be back with an update to show you how to install the proxy plugin. So I hope this was really helpful for you. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.